morning, everyone. I would like to demonstrate for you today how to use the Extend Themes Mesmerize WordPress theme and some of the functions that are within it. The first thing that I'm going to focus on today is how to add a new section. So the first thing you're going to do is you're already within your page and you come over to the left. This is where all your page sections are. And you're going to click Add Section. You have a bunch of different options that are already pre-designed for you, and they're all categorized. So About has a number of sections, Features, this is where we're going to focus today, and so on. So if you want to select one of the pre-designed sections in Features, you expand that menu option. Today, we're going to add one that has pictures. So you click Add Section. This is automatically going to add it to the bottom of your page. You can always change its position by just dragging it. If you drag it up, it'll come up in the different sections already existing in your page. I'm going to leave it at the bottom for today's example. Now, we're going to go ahead and close this menu because we don't need it anymore. And you can see this is the new section that's laid in here. It's already pre-designed with a heading, a paragraph, and three different sections. We are going to create three different sections here, and I'm going to walk you through each of the processes. Something that's really important to remember is that if you're working up here in the title section and you accidentally delete the title, you can always add an element in and we can add in a heading like we had before, but there's no way to drag these up and down. So what you'll have to do is if you accidentally delete that heading, you're going to delete the paragraph as well, and then you can add the paragraph back in underneath. So we're going to start with, and we are going to call this... Um, fruits. We have some fruit pictures already in our media, so we're going to start with that. And then we're going to put, leave the description there, and start working on this element. So this whole section here is one element together. You notice as I scroll over them, you get a little pencil for edit, a little red trash can for delete, and um, this is all one element. If you come up to the top, this little trash can means you would delete the whole element. So we're going to work first on the picture. We're going to select the picture. And we're going to come in here. Like I said, I've got fruits preloaded. So I'm going to select the strawberries. Once you've selected the picture, you'll notice that you have these dotted lines going around the picture. In this case, this image is already sized to match the existing photos there. That's really important if you want it to look all aligned and symmetrical. So we're not going to change these lines. We're not going to drag. We're just going to go ahead and say crop image. It drops that picture in, and they're all the same height and width here. Let's go ahead and get another fruit here. Let's grab this lemon. You'll notice this time, this lemon picture is not sized the same. So you can grab and drag this around, but if you drag these in, it will give you the wrong dimensions. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So say we drag it in and we're like, well, we just need the lemon. And I'm just going to drag this in and say crop image. Now when I come in, that lemon is not the right size. If I realize this and I'm like, oh no, I need to go back and change it. If you come in here and select the lemon again, or even say, let's pick apples this time, it's going to keep those dimensions that I cropped that lemon to. So what we're going to do is we're going to X out of that, and we're just going to delete the whole section. We're going to say, whoops, just delete it. Let's get rid of it. Now we only have two sections. So the way that you add another section is you come over here, you click your little green gear, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you can add an item. When you add an item, it's going to copy exactly your first item here. And now all of our pictures are the same size again. So let's go ahead again. We'll pick our lemon. This time we won't mess with the dimensions. We'll crop the image. And we're going to grab a lime. This one, we just need to scoot a little bit. We're going to grab and move this, not changing any dimensions, and crop the image. And they all come in the same size. Now we're going to edit the title. We're just going to name the fruits as they are. And I like to put my titles in all caps. You don't have to. It's just a design thing that I like to do to draw some more attention to it. Another preference of mine when doing design is I don't really like this learn more link. And so what I do is I delete it. I'm going to delete it across each of mine. And then I get this little blue button that says add element. So this time I'm going to add a button. I'd rather have a button there. And so we're going to call it learn more. You can put your link here. If you're linking within your website and you have a page that's called strawberry, you can just put a slash strawberry 
and it knows to reference your domain. In this case, I've got a dummy domain up here. It knows to reference your domain and, and the page already named Strawberry. Since we're staying within our own page, we want it to open in the same tab. If we were linking out to an external page, we'd want to put that in a new tab. In this case, we're going to go ahead and apply changes. If you want to change the look and feel of your button, there's those options, and I'll show you those next. So we're going to add element on lemon. We're going to add our button. We're going to say learn more. And we're going to go to the page named lemon. Now let's say that I wanted my button to look different. I wanted it to be yellow to go with our lemons, and I wanted it to be round. When you're designing a website, ideally all of your buttons would look the same, but I'm going to show you just today how that how you can make them look a little bit different. In this case, we're going to add a button again. We're going to go to the page called Lime. We're going to change our button color. Um, when you preset your theme colors, they'll all be here, but we'll just pretend that we want a different color button and we'll choose that. And this button we want to be square. So we apply changes. And now we've got our button. Oops, I didn't say learn more. Learn more. You can see now that I've come back into it, it's put in my domain name slash Lime, assuming I had a page named Lime. And so it, go ahead, it goes ahead and makes that reference for you, and you can apply changes. Now, the same thing applies here. If for some reason I accidentally deleted this paragraph, but I wanted it, I would have to add my paragraph back in. You can see we have two different sizes of paragraph. This one's a little bit bigger, so that's not the right one. Add element. We want the smaller paragraph. Now, in this case, I'm going to have to delete my button because there's not a way to move that up. So delete my button, add my button back in, and now I need to put my info back in. Learn more slash strawberry. Same tab. We're going to leave the button as it is, and we're going to apply changes. Now, if I wanted to add another fruit, I can go into the features section, and we've already demoed this, but you add the item, and it's going to put another strawberry here in the bottom. You have the option, say I only had four fruits. I can make them all centered so that strawberry goes in the middle. And then if I wanted my content to still be left aligned, I would click left there. So see all my title, my paragraph, and my button are all left aligned. If I want them centered or if I want them right aligned, those are options there. Right looks kind of fun. So we'll leave it like that for now. But that's how you work with sections. One other thing I want to show you is you can also rearrange these. You can drag the strawberry up here or say, for example, you really liked the way the lime one turned out. And as you add more, you want it to replicate lime. Let's put lime first. And when you add an item, it adds lime as your next item that you can start editing. Now, since we have this set to center, these two items, since we don't have three, center under the two above. That is just a quick walkthrough on how to work with a features section in Extend Themes Mesmerize.